Hello my lovely grade three fours, it's Miss Nguyen. Welcome back to lesson two of our symmetry and pattern unit. So today for lesson two, we are going to look at lines of symmetry. So our learning intention is we are learning to define symmetry and lines of symmetry. So symmetry is basically when an object, if you can fold it in half, it mirrors the other side. So um, the line of symmetry is where that line meets in the middle where it's best for me to actually show you. So I've got um, the worksheet that I want you to work through today. It's kind of mathematical, it is mathematical. So I've got here a trapezium and I've actually cut it out. So when I fold this in half, you see how the two sides match up? This side is the mirror side of the other side. And the line of symmetry is that line in the middle that tells me where I can fold it, I guess, um, to create mirror shapes of that same object. So if you had it in your book there, all you would have to do is just draw the line of symmetry. So use a ruler or even um, a sharp piece of paper or an edge of a piece of paper to draw your line in the middle. Now that's got one line of symmetry. I can try to fold this on in half like this, but as you can see, there's bits hanging over and that's not actually, this shape here is not exactly the same as this shape there. So that's not a line of symmetry there. You've only got one, so I've got one line of symmetry. So I would put one there. Now for the square, it's a little bit different. I can fold it this way. And I've got two rectangles that are the mirror image of each other. So that's one line of symmetry. So I'm going to draw that line there. But I could also fold it this way. And I still have two rectangles that are a mirror image of each other. So I can draw another line there. So, so far I have two lines of symmetry. Now I wonder if I can fold it up this way to make a triangle. And I think that also creates a mirror image, two triangles that are a mirror image of each other. So I've got a third line of symmetry. And then I can also fold it up this way again. And that would create a fourth line of symmetry. So I've drawn all my lines of symmetry. And then I can write down I have four lines of symmetry. Now you can choose to just imagine where you think the lines of symmetry are and draw the lines on and tell me how many lines there are. Or if you find it easier to cut out the shape, just like I have, and then fold your shape to find your lines of symmetry, you can do that. Just make sure you put it all together like this. Take a photo and then upload onto a seesaw. Give it a go, be risk takers. I can't wait to see what you do. Bye guys.